Hello everyone, today's video is going to be a sort of mystery box and collaboration with three artists here on YouTube. Dina Norland, The Average Artist, and Xanthi. They are three passionate and awesome illustrators. I love their content, so make sure you check out what they do with this exact box that The Average has sent all three of us, and I'm pretty excited. I'm also kind of scared because we could be mean to each other, or we could be nice to each other, so let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. We have a little skull. And on the back it says, yep, open if you dare. So like I said, I'm a little scared. Here we go. Oh my goodness, ahoy matey. We need you to create a map of this island so we can bury our treasure here. And remember, dead men tail no tails, savvy? Oh my God, so this is pretty adorable. It looks like we are going to be illustrating a map and we've got a few rules here. Oh my gosh, it's a little treasure chest. This is adorable. Let's open it. Ooh, whoa, we've got some booty. Fisherman's Friend, original caramels, yum. We've got some gold coins, sand from foreign land. Ha, ha. Ooh, we've got some shells. <gasps> There's a piece of paper in here. We gotta know what's in the piece of paper. I thought there were more secret instructions, but I think it's just a plain piece of paper for decoration. And the secret is, <gasps> is it invisible ink maybe? Let's go to a very dark room and find out. Okay, I'm back from the very dark room and there was indeed nothing written on it. It was just for decoration. Now that we've seen everything that has been packed away in this mystery box, I can tell Steph had a lot of fun creating this challenge. I am super excited because when was the last time you created a map? So let's do this, let's make a map. So I started off with the last item I bought being brunch with Dave. Maybe I'll put in a dragon creature or some sort of sea creature. And at first I thought my favorite book would be this really cute childhood book and there was a candy shop in it. But honestly, my favorite book is Life of Pi. So I think I'm gonna go with a carnivorous island. That said, I don't know why I went with an ice cream island. I think maybe the candy shop made me want to go in a sweet direction, but I think I want to go with a more breakfasty approach. So as you can see, I did a really bad sketch here with a piece of toast. We have egg, and I think I'm going to base it on brunch or breakfast. I'm going to change the place from candy shop to a carnivore island, which is from The Life of Pi, which is my actual favorite book. Okay, let's get into it. Of course, I am making a food-based island. You guys, I have a problem with food. I love food. I love designing things off of food. I love drawing food. It's a problem, but it's a delicious problem. Tokyo Treat, anyone? I have a whole series based off of creating characters and drawings based off of Japanese snacks, and here I am doing it again. So like I said, I am basing this island off of brunch because there are three rules to this map. Rule number one, you need to name a landmark on this map after the last item you purchased. Like I said, the last item I purchased, which I don't know if this counts, was brunch with Dave. I don't know if this is supposed to be like an item I bought off of Amazon, something that's supposed to last a little bit longer. But either way, the last item I purchased was technically brunch. So brunch it is. Everything on this map that I named, I named as a breakfast item. So I didn't specifically name anything after the meal I ordered, but it's in there. Rule number two, there needs to be some sort of mythical creature on it just cause the captain likes them. So I actually included a lot of mythical creatures in this map and I meant to put a couple on land, but I think I just got so focused on putting landmarks on the land and creatures in the ocean that I just kind of didn't. So all of my mythical creatures are in the water. They are all water-based creatures. So let's talk about each creature. I also wanted to theme everything on the map based off of certain food groups. So on the left and southern area, we have bready foods. On the bottom right, we have drinks. The mid to upper right, we have fruit. And the topmost part is the carnivore area, which is basically all of the meat foods. So in the bottom left, I thought it would be really cute and fitting to turn croissants into sharks. They are curved like fins, and even though it is very subtle, I think it works and I think it's cute. To the right, we have the drink area where this is more of a submarine section or it just could be more weird creature fins. We have straws poking out. I did want to include a landmark that was like mimosas because when I go out for brunch, I usually have some sort of alcoholic brunch drink. When I went out for brunch recently, I had some Baileys in my coffee. So that is why I themed it on coffee. 
In the top right where the fruit is, we have a banana octopus. This is by far my favorite mythical creature. I think it's just really adorable. It's really clever playing off of the peeling of the banana being tentacles. And overall, it's a cutie and I like them. And up in the top left corner, like I said, we have the carnivore area where all the meat is. We have one of those Japanese octopus wieners. I think it's cute. It was a very obvious one because they are cut like an octopus and they are cute. And I also turned a sausage into a dragon. A very simple creature, but it definitely works for a mythical creature. And the last and third rule was, lastly, a place from your favorite book. So like I said, my favorite book is The Life of Pi, and I thought about making a zoo or just something. It's really funny that The Life of Pi is a island-based book, so there's a lot of ocean and stuff to play off already, but I did want to go off of the carnivore island. So this is more of a play on words because the island was, I guess, eating them alive or eating creatures alive. So it's known as the carnivore island. So I thought it would be fitting to make an island that looks like a fried egg. It's surrounded by creatures made out of meat and it has palm trees on it. And instead of having leaves and coconuts, it has bacon for the leaves and sausage balls for the coconuts. Honestly, I was just really excited to make bacon trees because it was just kind of cute and it fits so well. The egg island is a bit of a stretch. I just made a really sandy white island with a hole in the middle to have a little lake, which is supposed to represent the elk. It's simple, but I think it works. So like I said, a lot of these rules I kind of took as a stretch and I took them as inspiration. And although I'm not following the rules to the T, I technically did name things after brunch. I made a land from my favorite book. And I made mythical creatures because they are creatures made out of food. I mean, a giant octopus, they're mythical enough. I guess I'll have to leave it up to Steph to see if I cheated too much, but overall, I'm really happy with the outcome of my map. Plus anything food related, I'm going to like it. So let's talk about some of these landmarks because there are a lot of them and some of them might have some explaining to do. So once again, in the most northern area, we do have the Egg Island with the bacon palm trees. And honestly, that's, that's about it. It's called the Carnivorous Island. I keep wanting to say coniferous. It's hard to say those two words. One of the things I was most excited about was Mount Pancake. It's supposed to be like a pancake shaped rock with lava or just syrup coming out of the top of it. I gave it a square shape at the top to represent a little pat of butter. And I did debate making this a sort of gray color to look like rocks, but honestly, I just went full food on all these things. To the right of Mount Cake, we have a jam swamp. So it's a swamp made out of fruit jam and fruits and stuff. I desperately needed something to add some color to this illustration because I knew most of it was going to be brown because so much unhealthy food is just brown. So I was really thankful to have these fruits brighten it up just a little bit. In the south, we have the mushroom muffin forest, which I realize just how phallic it looks. You put two phallic things together, it's gonna look phallic. These are just really weirdly shaped things. They're interesting, I like them. And on the southeast, we have Coffee Volcano, which has, I guess, tar coming out of these cup-shaped stones, which I think is really cool. It's probably my most favorite part of the whole map. It's really cute, and I just really like the boldness of the black. Around the island that the Coffee Volcano is on, we have some crumb isles. If you didn't notice, the whole island is a piece of toast shape, so we have a bite that has kind of fallen off of the mainland, and there are little tiny crumbs of islands all around it. And smack dab in the middle of this island is Toasted Plains, where it's just very hot and burnt because it's toast. <laughs> and surrounding the whole island, I wasn't sure if I wanted to make it water, but I figured this is, it's a food island, it's milk. It's a milk ocean. And that's about it for my island. I hope I ticked off all the boxes and didn't cheat too much. I honestly really enjoyed this challenge so, so dang much. It was creative in ways that I don't really think about and creating a map, gosh, you guys. Try this yourself. Hashtag something we haven't decided. So thank you so much to Steph for putting this package and challenge together. It was adorable. You guys have got to check out Dina and Xanthi's maps and the average if she does one. All of the links will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Now 
a huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons, including Michael Young, Zach Abstract, Megan, Chris Side, Davy Tomato, Cool Guy Josh, Hey Lucy, Mackenzie, Maureen A, Pi, Drizzle, Cindy J, TJ Dutch, Star, Lex CS, Meredith H, Hattie Laird, Stuff by Dell, Zoe Stardust, One Eyed Doe, and Admiral Scott. If you want a shout out at the end of my videos, sketches, coloring pages, early access, and more, check out my Patreon by clicking the link in the description. Thank you all so much for the support. Bye. <gasps> oh my gosh, the greens. <laughs> I love the greens. <laughs> I knew you would love the greens. I was like doing it, I was, Casey's gonna love this. <laughs> I think green might be my, so... my new favorite color.